Hi everyone, welcome to the behind the scenes video of the Walter Precipitous short film. Here we'll show the entire process from the very beginning so you can see what happened to him. Whoa, what am I turning into? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hi, my name is Zez Vaz from the studio Toma Creators based in Porto, Portugal. I co-directed and animated Walter Precipitous in Real Illusions Cartoon Animator 5. Walter Precipitous is an 8 minute short film about a water molecule. It's a story about friendship, courage and the water cycle for kids. The story was written and presented to us by creator Tobla Roos from Vancouver, Canada, who contacted Tomo Creators to produce his beautiful poem. When I first met Fiorella, we were together, you know, eight years, but this is one of the very first times we met. Uh, we're just talking. I think it was raining that night and we thought, well, wouldn't it be cool to have a story about where the main character is a water molecule? Like, because we were talking about the rain. I think the idea from the start was as a kid's story. Just, you know, they go through mm -hmm. the cycle is so interesting. Raindrops go from the yeah. sky down to the earth and then back up. It's just that that's kind of where it started. You know, the, the actual story, it wasn't complete. It was just the premise. Even while I was writing, I didn't know what was going to be the the problem, climax, solution, right. anything. I didn't even know how it was going to end, but I just kept writing it. It's like, this needs to go somewhere. Something needs yes. to happen and something yeah. needs to finish. That was probably when the idea of Crystal came around and then her changing him. The Walter Precipitous was not supposed to be an animation from the beginning. It was just supposed to be a children's book. But when I went through that process, of, am I going to write a, try to write another book? I, I got a little bit stomped and hit some walls and got a little frustrated and I said, I don't want to do the self-publishing thing again. And so I tried to find some talented animators and I found you <laughs> and your team and your production company. And so the rest is history, they say, right? Tablo Rus' poem immediately conquered the hearts and minds of the team, and his wife Fiorella was the perfect voice for the narrator. Curious Walter was learning and absorbing so much. He's been solid so long, that's why heat felt so wrong, but now he's ready to be liquid, or gas, or some such. We started by drawing a storyboard for the poem. There are a lot of emotions here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is Mariana Vash. She co-directed, illustrated all the backgrounds and did the storyboard for the film. Yeah, that was the first time that I had to really pause and think, how do I see this in my mind? How do I see the, the framing? How do I see uh, the colors? This version was mostly how I imagined the story going on. And also some things that I always liked, like the Steven Universe and that kind of whimsical, very fantasy driven. And I wanted to have like, like it was never ending, you know, I wanted each scenario to be like, there's more behind the, like something that the kids point of view goes through the infinite, you know, and the kids can imagine what, what goes on behind those walls, behind those glaciers. Perfect. With the storyboard finished, we now had a good sense of what we wanted. And we can start planning the music with our sound designer, André Cardoso. Andre made the score for the film and captured each emotion to perfection. Since the beginning of this project, we have a very tight goal for doing this. So th this was like an inspiring story, mainly for kids. I would say my biggest influence or direction would be like the um, those old Disney movies like Fantasia, yes. where you have orchestral pieces, not complete songs, but like ornaments or like small fragments of a whole composition. So for each moment of the story, there was like an emotion from the characters, but also from what was happening in the animation. So my first goal was like to determine what was the emotion for each part of the song yeah and then create small pieces with like uh, chord progressions like the, mm -hmm. that was like the first exercise so i could get the emotion right at the very beginning once upon a time over a thousand years ago at the top of the world inside a huge block of snow lived a frozen droplet named walter precipitous I started designing the characters, they were mostly inspired by Cartoon Network shows which greatly influenced my style. I had this very specific look in mind for Walter and Crystal the Snowflake. There was just one problem, 
The video was gonna be 8 minutes long and that's a lot of animation. Thankfully I had just stumbled upon Reillusion's cartoon animator. I was mesmerized by the quickness and ease that the software had to offer. Suddenly I could see the whole project coming together much faster than I had expected. I was pulled towards Cartoon Animator when I saw the 360 head rotation feature. Walter is a big headed droplet, and after creating the puppet, I couldn't believe how smooth it moved and frankly how much fun it was to animate. With the updated Cartoon Animator 5, Reillusion truly progressed the game with updates like the FFD effect, in which you can quickly squash and stretch your characters, making them more cartoony. or the spring effect, which adds so much to the motion. You also can use vector characters now, which is awesome. What's truly amazing about Cartoon Animator is that you can be a complete beginner and you're still able to create animated videos from beginning to end fairly easily. But you can also be a seasoned animator or a studio and you will find that it speeds up production and you still can give attention to details, so it's just very complete. I mean, there's more to this software, like now that I have the character's puppet, creating new Walter animations, just, it's just so quick. So from Cartoon Animator, I brought all the character animations into Adobe After Effects, where I made the final edits and some very cool tricks like Crystal's texture. I definitely took advantage of my previous skills on After Effects and combining the two programs was just so comfortable for me. Could I be courageous? Was it so outrageous? He wondered, with a tear falling down his face. One thing's for sure, and he learned it from her, it would require finally leaving this place. So Walter focused and tried to put all his worries aside, remembering Crystal as he waddled to the edge. The music was such a blast in the whole film. Andrea's work amplified every part of the video and just made everything more epic. There was a need of having like a, a song that you could remember in that part that I think it's the most important part of the video. That's when Walter when has jumps. the courage yes. to jump and I knew that that melody or that song, it was like something very special for me because I was like jamming a lot of like ideas mm -hmm. on the piano and it was like very late. I needed to go home and I was like trying to make something happening with a, with a piano and it it, it wasn't working out, so I was like, okay, only one more try. Jumped in without thinking, all floating, no sinking. He could swim, and wow, did it ever feel so good. And natural in the ocean, he moved with perfect fluid motion. Now as liquid, he felt brave and faster than ever before. And there was something like magic happening and I was like, oh god, I think I, I did something. But I needed to go, so it's like, okay, save. And it yeah. made completely sense, it, so it was like um, a very, very magical moment. Yeah. He searched farms, jungles and rainforests, amazed the world so enormous. I think the animation, the music, the colors, everything changes so much throughout the whole animation. That That's the thing, I think we had the same understanding of the story, we, we all had, and that, that made everything easier. I think our communication was the key mm. to produce this. Most of the parts were nailed at the first time. Yes. Because we, we had true. like a... a and you especially, you had a very strict idea of what you had in mind. And I knew you could pull it off. <laughs> yeah. Within yeah. a few months, a small team joined the forces and created a short film that everyone involved was very proud of. It was fun. It was a fun process. It has and been making it with you was even more fun. Walter was born. Now we are developing the Walter Precipitous brand with our YouTube channel and online education material on WalterTeachesKids.com. And because of the ease in which we can animate these characters' puppets on Cartoon Animator 5, we're just able to make regular content and having, for example, Walter talking to kids in classrooms. There's a lot to explore. He's a drop plate of water. He can go anywhere he wants. So many things we can learn from water. 
I'm really looking forward to creating more interesting stories and characters on Cartoon Animator with my friends and co-workers.